Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Sky Bees. Today we are going to be see what I did there? B. We're gonna be creating ourselves a DNA spawner as well as a crusher to be able to automate uh, or I don't know how this actually works yet but I'm assuming it's automated but for now we're gonna be creating a crusher Hopefully, we're going to be creating a plot of land for seeds, for some uh, chicken seeds or whatever. And, of course, my main goal for this episode is to create our first bee DNA. So that we can start creating some of the resource bees, so that we can start auto-generating some of the basic resources. So yeah, let's get right on into it. So, obviously the first thing first is to be able to create this empty DNA here. Which, I actually have had this going for a little bit. And we have 20 extra clay balls that we can go and already create the empty DNA then we need to create our DNA spawner oak logs some planks and the empty DNA right in the middle bam now we have our DNA spawner and I guess the last thing to do would be to build out and create a platform that we would be able to spawn our bees on Now, I would like to make this maybe an enclosed space, maybe like a, I don't know, like a 12 by 12 area. Uh, so the building's going to be 12 by 12, so we want the exterior to maybe be like two blocks extra. So if it's 12 on the inside, it's 13, 14 for the walls. 15, 16 for one, and then 17, 18 for, uh, it's 18. Uh, we'll make it, make it 19 with. So, we'll have nine on each side. Three, four, five, six, seven. Also, like if there's builders wand in this. No, there is a building gadget though. Eventually, yeah, eventually I can use the building gadget, but for now that is not a thing. The building, the enclosed building, is probably going to be. Three high on the inside. This is definitely not lit up enough to stop mob spawn, but it's okay for now. Oh, and also since the last episode, I created this semi-complete farm here. As you can see, I have 64 bread. I got my first hopper bot botany pot so that we can auto-produce it mostly for the seed because I have a jar auto processing block now so that'll auto produce uh, a crafting recipe when it's given yeah and I can go ahead and change that whenever I need but for now it's fine 
We have 18 extra blocks here. That's not going to be a dot. But it'll be close. I can go ahead and do that. And bam. Replant all this. I can just run around in circles. While I collect all that. And now I have nearly 400 seeds. this on over to here and we'll once it finishes uh, I guess I can cancel it okay yeah, that makes sense. for now I can put that thing oh uh, spider spawned of course it did that real quick oh a lot of mobs are spawning over there let me sleep off night real quick to be down to eventually start recording some uh, underblock uh, GG server uh, I don't yeah I'd also like to yes I would also like to record on the underblock GG server at some point too because I've been playing that quite a bit recently is quite enjoyable to play and y'all can also play along with me or I, I guess y'all can also play on the server as well okay so that's the door this is just a nice quick outline make a lot of more torches. Okay, there's half a stack of torches. Nice and easy. Wait, go ahead. Place up there. There. There we go. I don't think I'll have enough wood to finish this building for now. Well, I'll definitely have enough wood to finish it. I have way more than that, but that's not the problem. I'm meaning in my inventory. I don't think I'll have enough wood in my inventory at the moment to be able to complete this. So I'll have to walk back again to be able to get more wood. I was originally going to make this building like maybe like a 5x5 five five on the inside. But then I realized that would be way too small. Because originally I wanted to put like glass as a roof. Which eventually I think I still will put glass as a roof. 
but for the moment, making the building size that I that I would need is way too expensive for the amount of glass that I would need to be able to fill that. Just down. But now that's plenty. There we go. I keep forgetting I don't have to walk around anymore. I have infinite food now. Um, yeah, we're gonna need some more wood real quick. There we go. Two more stacks should be way more than enough to finish that. space. And we should only need one torch right there in the middle. Bam. There we go. Now no mobs will spawn on top of it. And now we just need one singular door. Eventually I'll put glass on this, but I need to wait until I can generate more materials for that. I mean, I guess for now I can put a window here. And here. I did make some glass panes so that I could have an extra glass jar for some uh, fluid output. But yeah, we can go ahead and put that right there. Well, that's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I thought that was going to be like a block and a half tall, to be honest. I thought it was going to be like some sort of altar, but that's just like a tiny little pedestal. Alrighty. We need yellow dye and high temperature. I do have yellow petals. Oh, right. I put the that order and pestle in order in here. another empty DNA. There we go. And then make some DNA. How long does that take? Okay, that only takes about a minute. In the meantime, I can check on the dirt production. Yes, we've adequately made enough dirt. I'm gonna have it continue with dirt though. So we need to make area for animals, eventually. I also need to remember, to remember to close that door every time I come back out of that, out of the summoning altar. Okay, only 15 seconds remain till the completion. DNA. That opens up the resourceful bee quest. Or it opens up all the bees quest line. 
which a honeycomb has gotten from a beehive, which I do have one. It's right here. Got it. So let's go ahead and close this. They feed on flowers, right? Yes, I think. I mean, a normal bee would, so I wouldn't see why a... I wouldn't see why a... Uh, I wouldn't see why a micro bee didn't. Would. The thing is, we just need to make a platform for it. Okay, it's no temperature. Um, let's go and cancel that. And let's go down to grass. Yes. That'll use one of the dirts in my inventory. And a seed in here to be able to produce grass. We only need one. Just enough to get it started. So that we can start producing animals. things in between and also branch off if I need to in the middle. Um, I think an easy beginning size could be like maybe a 7x7. Seven seven. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, well I just did a 9x9. Nine nine. There we go. Two. That should be a 7 percent Center. One, two, three. Corner. Two, center. Two, three. Corner. Go. That doesn't have to be super big. And also keeping it small and then expanding it later allows us to just easily. Keep it in here, so there we go. I should have another wood to finish this real quick. Yes. Of course I do. And then we can also use that cobblestone generator that we did to be able to make some stone cobblestone walls. Does it already have? It already has 32 stacks. Wow. I've already made over 2,000 cobblestone with that thing. gate to build a fully enclosed that area. Or or I could use some white carpets instead. And place the carpet there. There we go.
nice and easy. Now we're, now we're kind of just waiting on seats. Stay the Botania chest. Put them out of dirt until we can get a dirt bee. Once we can get a dirt bee, we don't need to be upgrading like this. reason for the bee, for the beginning bee, is to be able to make honey. make the dirt be. Okay, at least it's now symmetrical. And there's a little bit more grass. I'm not going to use the bone meal just yet. There's also a skeleton honeycomb, which comes from the skeleton bee. Whoa. I did not know that that can make a weather skeleton spawn egg. waste. Entirely a waste. I 
I should definitely place more of the blocks over on this grass block so that it has a higher chance of actually changing. Okay. This has gotten to the point where it's pretty slow. right there oh it just spawns it I did not know that I should make a campfire real quick actually uh, and I guess I should make a bee jar as well six bee jar, so I'm going to put the bee in the jar, so that I can pick up their, uh, the beehive without actually angering them and then killing them on accident, because when the bees sting you, they die shortly after, which is not good for business. Still not enough. getting there. I mean, maybe? Maybe I can just turn on the sewer bluette. Yeah, he's inside. Yeah. Breaking that would be a tragedy and a half. jars and also completed the MTP jar quest but he should have popped out yep there we go easy I have a torch on me, so that's fine. Break this beehive. Put that down on the ground, put that on above it. That should make that smoked. I think. doesn't tell me, but that's okay. But now, I should be able to... I should be able to take honey out of their beehive without actually angering them. I still need to make this. Do that real quick. Make ourselves some of those. Oh, I can probably put down this. I don't know if it'll if it'll produce honey off of that. I mean, couldn't hurt to try. Yes. So, 
Yes, I can hear it. Wait, do you have to do it first through bottles? Probably it because I don't have iron yet. Cause how do you make an iron B? Iron B is from the wooden cobblestone B, which is from, yeah, and the wooden cobblestone B. I'm pretty sure I can just straight up make. Yes. And I do have both wood and cobblestone. Okay. I could probably make both of those right now, actually. Oh, my strainer broke. Okay, now we have ceramic shears. So I should pick him up. But he's producing honey at the moment. And I don't want to stop him doing that for now. What in the world is that radioactive be doing? What? It's produced a sheep? How in the world does that produce a sheep? Okay. Sheep naturally spawned. I definitely have enough to finish it. And I guess I don't really need that at all. Um, I guess now yeah, I can make a Cobble B. I don't have cobblestone. And where's the wood B? Right here. Okay, now we just have extra dirt being produced, which is pretty nice. Oh, it's 33 minutes. Okay. Well, I guess we have a basic foundation going. We have a little dirt plot here for animals to spawn on. We have our little bee building here, which is super nice. We have one bee inside of here. That's honey level one. And we have our DNA spawner. I'd say that's a pretty successful episode if I say so. Yeah. So yeah, if y'all enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Like the video down below for more content. And I will see y'all in the next episode. Peace.